All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everyone. This is Mark Raymakers here with Insurance Agency Marketing Services. Want to take a minute here to say thanks right off the bat here for taking time to join us here this morning on our Single Premium Life webinar. Now, you may have noticed that uh, Sandy was supposed to be the presenter today, but uh, you've got me instead. So um, good thing is, is that this is a recorded webinar for you, so you'll have a chance to review this once we're all done. We will follow up with a phone call as well after the webinar, see if you have any individual questions or maybe cases that uh, we can help you out with. And so I just... Real quick to let you know, every Friday morning at 10 a.m., we host a single premium life webinar. And I'll tell you, this has been such a huge market for us. I think it can be an, um, a very pr uh, prosperous market for yourself as well. Um, the big thing about single premium life and annuities is I think if you can sell a, an annuity, you can most certainly sell single premium life. And, you know, we've been in this business for 30 years offering annuities to uh, independent producers. And so it's kind of a natural gravitation or, I guess, compliment to what is happening in the annuity market because so many of the single premium cases that are written are coming from annuities. And um, obviously through your help and good planning, uh, there's a lot of clients out there that have more annuities than they probably need to retire on. And so it's a great opportunity to uh, look at maybe repositioning those assets. So what I want to do here real quick in the essence of time, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to tell you a few things about what we can do for you, how we help uh, new producers and our existing licensed uh, agents and advisors. What we do right off the bat is if you get contracted with us, you write a single premium life case or annuity, of course. These dollars here, so 100000 is a dollar for dollar annuity, dollar for dollar on, a, on single premium life or a fraction of that for traditional life. But let's say, for example, after today's webinar, you think of a prospect or a client that you have, you get contracted, you write a $100,000 case. What will happen is uh, you could choose either from a $750 cash bonus or a three-year subscription to the website and uh, the newsletter service. All right, let's see here. I am getting that there's no volume. There is a call-in number. Um, hopefully, you're all hearing me. I only have a couple of you that responded said there's no volume. So um, let's see here. I'm going to do something real quick here. If I can, Does, hopefully you can all hear me. Um, I know a couple of you have mentioned that you are not able to hear me. What I'm seeing on my end is that the the uh, audio is loud and clear. And so if I can just, yep, okay, good, thank you. I did get an okay that you can hear. Excellent, appreciate that. So for those of you that can hear, um, you're just going to have to dial in. Um, so let's go back to this. So you write a $100,000 case. You have a choice between a $750 cash bonus or a three-year subscription to website and newsletter service. And that's really a neat deal. If you don't have a website set up, our guys here can get you up and running with a website in one day. They're really good at this and it's very positive, very attractive. They can put your logo on there however you want to brand it, make it look nice for you. So that's a neat little deal. Um, or you could certainly call us and we could set it up. There's a, a small fee to do that. So keep that in mind. Or you can choose an iPad. I really like the iPad. A lot of the insurance companies today are going to the electronic application. So the nice thing is, is you don't have to worry about having the wrong forms or filling out an application incorrectly. These iPads make it really easy for you. Or you might just wait to get to 300,000 level. So 300,000 is single premium life. Uh, that's very doable. I'll tell you, I got a guy who's writing a $260,000 case um, Monday. In fact, we've had um, a couple of cases here that have already come in this month for three hundred, one dollars for three fifty. dollars So it's very doable out there. If you're asking questions and you're uh, using the fact finders we got available, you write a $300,000 case that makes you eligible for the full Social Security program, 3000 piece postcard mailing. That's been really popular. The nice thing about this is, just real quick, if you're looking to get in front of more seniors, you're going to have to learn about Social Security. Of course, there's some skin in the game for you. And when you're doing these presentations, these seminar styles, you're getting a lot of information. A lot of seniors want to sit down and visit with you about Social Security. That's not where you're making your money. It's where you're looking at their other assets to reposition. There's a lot of new annuities that are sold based on this. And, of course, single premium life and traditional life. So that's where you really make your money. It's a good investment there. And you can earn that or buy into that. 
or there's the 2000 matching marketing money to promote your business or a $1,500 gift card. So choose any one of those. Now, some of you may wait to get to the half a million dollar level. You could choose either 5,000 piece mailing and seminar coaching with Matt Gill or 4,000 piece mailing and seminar coaching with Dave Pimper. Both of these agents are advisors, are top producers with us. They've got a great program. I've seen it. If you're into seminars or you want to maybe expand on your seminar market, uh, these guys will help you with their approach. And I'll tell you, they're qualifying for anywhere from three to five different producer trips a year based on their production. So if that gives you an idea, they're really good at it and they can help you be successful as well. Finally, there's the Ritz Carlton Trevor Rewards Program. Maybe you don't want to take advantage of either one of those, but you can take a nice vacation. So a couple of things to keep in mind there. Um, We'd love to get your point and help you out. Now, I mentioned to you as far as setting up a website, um, the guys in our office here, Josh and Andy, can help you to brand your business. If you've not taken advantage of that, I would encourage you to do that. We've really helped a lot of advisors move up to the next level by setting up some branding, having uh, a website, doing some um radio advertisements or even TV advertisements, whatever you want to do, we can help you with that. So I certainly encourage you to do that. That's one of the nice advantages of doing business with us is we can do that for you very economically or even for free based on your production. So here's another thing we're real big on. You notice that we have a lot of webinars. We schedule a webinar basically for every day of the week, Monday through Friday. Sometimes you notice that we've got a couple of them scheduled. So what I'm going to do here is just real quick, I'm going to put a poll out there. And if you could just vote yes or no, or I should say weigh in yes or no, I'll explain this to you. So here's what we do. We have a two and a half day training event. We fly you out on a Wednesday, so IMS will pay for your airfare. We pay for your meals. We pay for your lodging. We get you out on a Wednesday. We do the presentations, a few of them on Wednesday evening with um, dinner. We do um, cocktails and just kind of a chance to relax, get to know some of the other advisors that are there. And then we do a full day of training on Thursday. Again, we cover all the meals for Thursday. Uh, we cover your meals on Friday. By noonish, 1 o'clock, we're done. We get you on a plane. We send you back home. So really what we're doing here is we're bringing um, speakers from across the country we're paying for your airfare, we're paying for your meals, we're paying for your lodging, and what we're doing is we're trying to help you to grow your life and your annuity business. This is not one of those deals where you you come off site to a location where we just shove product down your throat. That's not what this is about. We're trying to help you to learn new concepts, um, new techniques, marketing. There's a number of great things we're doing. We're even helping you to become DOL ready, and we all know what's going on there. So. This is an opportunity for you to get some free training, and we pay for it. Now, here's the other thing. If you mark yes, what we'll do is we will email you the dates and the location as well as an agenda. So just by marking yes, we're going to keep you up to date with what's going on. We generally do three to four of those a year. Our first one will probably come up here in the March, April time frame. And so um, we'll let you know what that is. If the first one doesn't work, we'll let you know what the next one is, and so on and so forth. So there's an opportunity for you to um, attend one of the three or four events this year. One of the nice things that I really like about this is that we only have about 25 to 40 agents that we bring in at a time. So it's not a huge group. It's a small enough group where you have an opportunity to visit with some of the other top advisors out there, learn some ideas from them. And I'll tell you, I've been in the business since 88. Some of the best ideas I have ever heard are at these events um, because obviously the advisors that are coming to this are very successful, but they all know and they understand that you have to keep investing in yourself and in your business. And this is a great way to do it. So if you're not getting free training, if you're looking to grow your business, whether it be life or annuity, or maybe you're looking at complementing what you're doing by starting to offer life products or starting to offer annuities, this is an opportunity for you to do that. And we pay for it. So it's a great opportunity. Looks like only half of you are, are uh, voted in here. So again, just by marking yes, all you're doing is just saying, yeah, I want more information. I'd like to check this out. I'd like to kick the tires a little bit, see what you guys have got planned, and then we'll see if we can get you in one of these events here uh, coming up this year. So we do three to four a year. Now, we're, okay, great response. All right, thank you for, for doing that. Um, just want to see what we can do to help you grow your business. That's what that's all about. And that's what this webinar is about here this morning. 
Okay, so I know we're all busy. Um, we want to get on with this webinar, so let's go ahead and I'm going to close the poll. If you decide that you want to know more information, just uh, give us a call here and we can email you out an agenda. Okay. All right, so here's another thing I want to, just before we go into the heart of it, it's something else we do for our current producers. So if you're contracted with us already, a lot of agents are leaving money on the table, and this is why I want to hit on this real quick. Or if you get appointed with us, some things that will benefit you. So we have a referred producer program. Obviously, referrals are a big part of your business, or can be, or should be, but they're also a big part of our business. This is how we grow our businesses um, by getting referrals from you. So let's just say that you know a guy or a gal who's in the business. Um, maybe they're not necessarily getting the best service where they're at today. Maybe they're not offering all the products they could or potentially should be. And this is an opportunity for you to help them grow their business. So by referring somebody to us, if we contract that agent, we're going to send you a check for $50, whether they do anything or not. So the next thing is, let's say they start writing business. And we're going to use an example here. Let's say you send three producers to us that do a million dollars combined in traditional life, single premium life, and annuities. That's $6,000 for you. And as long as that agent is producing, we will continue to send you a check every quarter will true up whatever it is that they've produced, you're going to get a check. And I'll tell you, we have agents that are collecting thirteen, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 a year from their referrals. Now, you're not in the commission business. It's just a referral bonus is really what it is. They're not taking a haircut in the commissions. Either are you. So keep that in mind. If you think of somebody that we might be able to help, let us know. Give us a phone number and a name. We'll get them contracted, and we'll start sending you checks. It's that simple. Okay, one last thing, market reimbursement. Here's what we do here. If you write $100,000, so let's say you write $100,000 single premium life case. We put $200 into a market reimbursement account. You write $100,000 next week, now you have $400. Okay, and you just do the math. So what happens is, here's an example of an agent of ours. Um, this investment advisor um, just did a seminar here in December, and his expenses were $636. He sent me the receipt yesterday. I'm sending him a check today. For $636. Now, he spent more than that, I should say, overall. But what we do is we reimburse 50% of your expense. So I should probably clarify that. His expenses were over $1,200. But I'm sending him a check for $636 because we reimbursed him for 50% of his expenses up to what he had in his account. And his account had $636. So what I'm saying to you is that if you send us a receipt, now, let's say you had a holiday party that you spent $1,000. If you had $500 in your reimbursement account, I'd send you a check for $500. Bucks, okay? So if you think about this going into 2017, if you're spending $1,000 a month on seminars or $1,000 a month on leads, if you have $2,000 in your reimbursement account, we're going to cut your lead expenses in half, okay? So just send us a receipt. We reimburse you. This is a big part of the business that I think a lot of our advisors forget about, but this is a great way for you to increase your revenue by reducing your marketing expenses in half. So just be creative. Um, we had an ad, another agent who does a lot of business with us. He wanted to put a TV in his waiting room in his lobby um, for when customers come in and they're sitting and waiting for him. So you can expense that as well. But um, anyhow, keep that in mind as you're trying to decide who you want to do business with. That's a great compliment to what you're doing. Okay, let's jump into this. So single premium life versus annuities. Some of you have joined since um, we started this thing here. Um, my name is not Josh. My name is Mark Raymakers. Just so there's a clarification there. If you have any questions, you can call and ask for anyone in life marketing. Josh sets up the webinars. He doesn't handle the, the product, the marketing side of it. So, But here's the deal. We see a tremendous amount of single premium cases written that are coming from annuities. And through your help and through your planning through the years with your clients, you come to the point, you realize, hey, you know, you've got a lot of money out there you're not going to live on in your lifetime. So we need to really look hard, you know, long and hard at this annuity. Does it make sense to leave it where it's at? Because if you pass away, there's growth on that, right, which is going to be taxable to the beneficiary. So what we're seeing is there's been a real shift of those annuity dollars. They pay the taxes on it now, of course. You understand that. We reposition reposition into single premium life. It's a huge part of your business. One advisor I like to refer to a lot is he came to us one, um, this was years ago when, when um, 
we really started ramping up. And I tell you right now, we've got about a dozen different carriers that we write single premium life with. So we've got a great fit no matter what the situation would be. And so what happened was he called in for help with annuity and I just so happened to answer the phone and I asked him if he did life insurance. He said, no, I don't, I, I did that years ago. I'm done with it. Well, I mentioned single premium life to him and how he can go in and approach his existing clients just like you could do. In one year, he wrote $1.3 million in single premium life. That's not uncommon. We've got agents that are doing a half million dollars a year ever since they started offering this to their clients because they're conscious of it. And what I'm going to show you here, the presentation this morning is going to show you some side-by-sides. As I mentioned when we started, if you can sell an annuity, you can sell single premium life. It's very simple. And we've got some great tools to help you do that. So... Again, as I mentioned, if you have clients that have assets they don't plan to live on, is an annuity really the best place to leave the asset or place more money into? A lot of times what happens is I'll see that um, an agent will come to us, they'll have a client that just inherited a bunch of money. And so taking the path of least resistance, it's automatically put into an annuity. We're not asking about whether or not they're going to live on this money. We're not asking that they're concerned about the cost of long-term care. And I will tell you right now, if you're reading the trade publications out there today, seniors are a little bit concerned, more than concerned actually, about having the funds to cover long-term care home health care. But they don't want to spend a ton of money to lose it if they don't use it. So that's the difference here. So last comment here, is this the easiest and most convenient sale for the agent to make a commission, a lot of times it is. And we love annuities. We've been doing, we've been offering annuities for over 30 years. So don't misunderstand that. If it's, a, if annuity makes sense, put an annuity. But the most efficient way to transfer assets to, the, to a beneficiary is through life insurance. And you're going to see here in a minute some of the other comparisons as to why a life insurance policy might make sense. In fact, I've had a lot of agents that have sold annuities um, that are saying, gosh, I wish I'd have known about single premium life a long time ago because I've put people into annuities when it, it just really didn't make sense. And the, unfortunately, there's a surrender penalty. So they wait until that surrender charge is pretty much diminished before they start looking at putting it into a single premium life. So here's what we're going to compare today. We're going to talk about suitability, and this is going to be pretty quick. So don't feel like you're, you know, you've committed the day to it here. We're going to talk real quick about and compare suitability, turnaround time, return of premium, Guaranteed interest rates, physical exams, and underwriting. This is a big part. This is another reason why a lot of agents won't sell because they're they're concerned about that point right there. Free withdrawals, loans, accelerated benefits, chargebacks, issue agents, tax deferral, tax free transfers, and commissions. So doing a side-by-side -side comparison, when we're done here this morning, I think you're gonna see, gosh, this is just like an annuity. Why am I why am I not doing this? So, okay, we're gonna take a look at the first one: suitability and product training. Now I will tell you right now, depending on the type of product that you sell, if you're looking at qualified money, this is where suitability or product training would be required because basically what we're doing, we have to use a SPIA to fund the single premium life. But if you're just looking at non-qualified assets, there is no suitability, there is no product training. So with annuities, yes, you have to take the time to complete that before you submit an application. In fact, some of you have probably wrote an annuity app, didn't have the product training, they make you go back out and get the forms completed. Now I mentioned on, except on selected products. So if you have a client that has qualified assets, you can put them into a combo plan. We've got carriers that'll do this. It's a single premium immediate annuity coupled with a traditional life product. You can't buy them as standalone products. They're one in this, basically one in the same. But the nice thing is transparent. Your client never receives a check, nor do they have to make a premium payment. Okay, so just had a quick question. Are your SPO life carriers paying trails? Well, no, because it's a single premium life. Once you pay it, it's done. You get the commission up front like you would with an annuity, and you're not getting trails. Now, some of the companies out there, it's a good question, Terry. Some of the companies out there are considering or looking at potentially setting up a trail. But once that premium is paid, they just do a lump sum single commission. So it's a good question. Turnaround time, single premium life. Okay, I will tell you that we are getting cases approved in less than a week. We actually have cases approved in 24 hours or less. With annuities, it's about a week, right? So I will tell you, we've had applications come in on a Monday. By the close of business on Monday, that particular applicant has been approved. Now, some of them, we do have immediate approval. So what they'll do is 
with all single premium life you do the paper application and you do a phone interview so we have point of sale products that when we call you we can discuss those if that might be an interest to you so once you do that phone interview they'll actually tell you right then and there if that person's approved or not okay return to premium look at this we do have a return to premium feature on a single premium life just like you'd have on an annuity uh, the nice thing is some of these what they'll do is they'll actually honor that return to premium feature in the first year now, of course there's a charge back on that so we got to be careful with that um, some of these here are going to make you wait for five years before you can actually get the full premium back premium bonus yes we do have a premium bonus just like annuities we have up to 12 percent so we have some that do a 10 percent uh, we have some that go all the way up to a 12 percent premium bonus so the nice thing about that is you know when you're uh, working with the annuity client a lot of times that uh, premium bonus will offset that surrender charge you may have in an annuity where you might have some seller's remorse or maybe you sold an annuity when it should have been a single premium life sale again up to 12 percent with the annuities as well guaranteed interest rates we do have obviously a guaranteed interest rate like the annuities do uh, right now uh, one of the popular plans that we sell has a three percent guaranteed rate annuities you're generally looking at about one percent so if you look at that right there you compare that to the clients that they have money sitting in a cd or a money market account they're going to be further ahead just by putting it in and not only that but by putting in these single premium life plans, you've just helped them from a tax planning standpoint because they're not going to get a 1099 at the end of the year for that CD, uh, that money market, that bank account. It's now growing tax deferred and it's going to go tax free to the beneficiaries. Okay, physical exam. There is no physical exam with single premium life. I think a lot of you might think that there is. Now it depends. If they wanted to do a fully underwritten plan on a single premium basis, we could do that to take advantage of that client's good health. But your traditional um, single premium life, there is no physical exam. We just do the paper application and a phone interview. Free withdrawals, yes, just like an annuity, you have a free withdrawal. So the nice thing is when you're presenting this to a client, liquidity is important. We mentioned the return of premium feature already. The other nice thing is that clients can take a free withdrawal. So if they're used to having an annuity out there, and if you're going to roll it from an annuity, or I shouldn't say roll it because that's not the right terminology, but if you're going to surrender that annuity and put it in a single premium life, you're still giving the client the uh, liquidity that they're used to in their existing annuity. We can take up to 10% free withdrawal on their single premium life, just like you would with an annuity. So very, very much the same. If you look at loans, uh, single premium life, you can take a loan, uh, just like you could against the annuity. Uh, up to 4% is going to be the net cost for the loan. Uh, on typical annuities, you're probably looking at about 5% net. Accelerated benefits, okay, this is something I mentioned to you before, is the long-term care and the home health care. And this is where a lot of these cases are written. In sitting down with your client, and again, as I mentioned, we do have different fact finders that can help you get the conversation going, can help you really take a look at what they've got out there. And just one quick thought is that 49% of the advisors in this industry today never go back to their clients. So you may have written an annuity with somebody or a life plan, but they probably also have some other things they've written in the past that they're not telling you about. We've got some forms that can help you find out exactly what they're holding and and you know to go ahead and help you out with that but one of the things that we find is real big in generating these sales is the accelerated benefits and what happens is let's just say for example you have a hundred thousand dollar annuity out there today and by putting that in a single premium life let's say you get hundred fifty thousand dollars depending on the age of the client now you have fifty thousand dollars more benefit than they had if it was sitting in an annuity and the nice thing about this is that those accelerated benefits generally are going to pay it out over 36 months or 60 months depending on the product. Some of them do a 2% of the death benefit. Some do 1%. It just really depends on the company that we go with. But the nice thing about it is those benefits are tax-free to that insured. With the annuity, as you know, there's going to be some taxation on it because they're paying out the growth on the annuity. So that's something to think about. That in and of itself is a pretty big difference. Chargebacks, yes, there's chargebacks on both. Uh, you're looking at up to a two-year chargeback if a client surrenders the contract, just like an annuity. So nothing different there. You're used to how that works out with annuities. So um, issue ages, we can go zero to 85. And I will tell you that we actually have a company that we write some business with that'll go up to age 90 on the single premium life. So pretty much like the annuities, we can issue up to age 90. 
Um, that's fully underwritten if we're going to go 86 to 90, though. So keep that in mind. Tax deferred, yes, just like an annuity. Once that money sits in that life insurance policy, that's grown tax deferred. And I always want to drive home that point that if that client's sitting on money in the bank, I see this all the time. I don't know what it is about that bank building that they love um, having their money sitting there, but they're getting 1099 on those policies. And if you look at the inflation rate today, about 1.5%, your clients are not getting 1.5% on anything in the bank. Some of those CDs, if they've got them in there for a long maturity, they might. Um, but you put it in a single premium life, you're going to get probably minimum of 2%, up to 3%. It's growing tax deferred. They're already ahead of where they would have been. And if they have a bonus product, which we do have, up to 12%, they'll never live long enough to have that money sitting in the bank to get to where that single premium life policy would be. And again, with the annuities, it's growing deferred. Okay. All right, tax-free death. Well, one of the nice things about single premium life is it is tax-free when that client passes away. So again, think of that money. If they're taken out of annuity, they put in a single premium life, they get a bump in value. Now it's tax-free. Stop and think, what does your annuity have to earn in order for them to uh, be in a better position net after tax with that annuity? Single premium life is going tax-free to beneficiaries. And if they don't use those accelerated benefits, like on a, a standalone long-term care plan that they don't either A, want to pay the premium for, don't have the money in their budget to do it, or they're just afraid if they don't use it, they lose it. Not the case with single premium life. If they never use those benefits, it goes tax-free to the beneficiary. The other thing too is let's say, for example, that they have a stroke or they have an aneurysm and they go into a facility and they're taking, they're spending down that death benefit for one year. Whatever's left in that contract now goes tax-free to beneficiary. It's kind of have your uh, cake and eat it too. Commissions, look at this. Up to 15% on single premium life. Some of the annuities out there up to 10%. I think that's getting harder to find these days to get a high uh, comp like that on annuity. But we can pay 15% on a single premium life. Put yourself, your client in a great position. Okay, so I know we went through that very quickly. I promise you that we would. The point is, I'm going to go back up here just because I want to I want to get you to kind of, I guess, focus on this point is if you can sell an annuity. I've said this. This is probably the third time now. If you can sell an annuity, you look at all the benefits in a, of an annuity, and that's why we're doing the sales. We want to compare the single premium life to the annuity. You'll notice they're very similar um, in so many ways. So understanding that if you can sell the annuity, you can sell the single premium life, and it really is not that difficult. It doesn't take that long to grasp it. We have a lot of agents that think it's more complicated than what it really is, and that's why we're doing this presentation this morning to show you how simple it really is to uh, to sell one of these. You know, obviously your first case is the most difficult, but I will tell you one thing that I've done in countless numbers of times is that when you, I was out in the field myself, um, very successful, wrote a lot of life insurance, and so you know, I understand and I still produce. I understand um, what some of the challenges that you have, what the questions might be, uh, handling some of those objectives. But one thing I can tell you is that if you wanted to put me on speakerphone, I'll sit there and be quiet. Uh, I was on a, on a phone with a client yesterday with an agent and I just sat there until they asked me a question and I addressed the questions with them and then I was quiet. I don't try to close it. I don't over talk because I know obviously if you're talking too much, you're probably going to miss an opportunity. You're going to lose a sale. I answer questions when asked and that's it. So if you have a prospect that you're working with or a client that you think would be a good fit, if you want to put me on the phone, I'll sit there and just keep quiet until you have a question. If you don't have any questions, that's great. Either way, the point is let's get you through the first one. Let's get you comfortable with it. And as I mentioned earlier, agents that are offering these products for their clients wish they would have done it a long time ago. It's just a matter of getting comfortable with it. And what happens is I notice is that more and more of the agents that are writing it with us continue to produce this product with us because now they know what they're looking for. Now they understand the opportunity out there. And instead of just sticking the money into an annuity every single time the opportunity comes up, they say, hey, you know, this prospect or this client or this money is perfect for single premium life because now we're going to be able to provide for some benefits that they don't currently have. Okay. Um, a question just came up. Do we have any brochures that you can provide with us uh, to show the difference between single premium life and annuities? Yes, we do. And I I'll tell you something. Um, we are, we're somewhat guarded in what we provide out there in, in this respect that 
I'm not going to send out a bunch of marketing pieces for you to go and write your business somewhere else. Let's just, let's just be honest with you. We want to earn your business. And so if you want to get good at this and you really want to compliment what you're doing, we've put in a lot of effort to create some pretty, uh, pretty impressive pieces, some things that help. And so be happy to make anything available to you, but we also would like the opportunity in your business. And so a lot of the pieces we send out, we're only going to send out to you if you're contracted. And so it's pretty simple. We'll get you contracted here today and uh, we'll help you start writing your first case next week. And I'm not kidding. It, it, they can go that quickly. So who's a prospect? I think this is important to know. And I really believe that if you're in this business, you're going to have a prospect out there. I will tell you, funny enough, the first case I ever wrote was a single premium life. The difference between what the products look like back in of uh, 2000, I mean, sorry, 1988 versus 2017 is all of the benefits that we didn't have available back then. This policy that I wrote, all it did was provide for death benefit. I mean, it had some cash accumulation in there, but there were no accelerated benefits. There were no free withdrawals. Uh, there was loan options, but that was it. Pretty cut and dried, pretty simple. So what you're looking for here is those clients that have existing assets, they're not going to draw an income from. We do see, again, a lot of that out there. We do see... Um, inheritance, those kinds of dollars, unfortunately, death claim checks. But those are the assets that you know that your client's not living on. And if you're doing a review with them, if you understand their situation, if you're doing advising with that client, you can look at those assets and say, there's a ton of money out here you're not touching. I had a case I'm working on here right now with the guy who's 80 years old. He's, he's um, got a couple million dollars. He will never live on all that money. So he's got this huge tax time bomb for somebody who's going to inherit it. So we're putting some money in a single premium life because there is a possibility now. Of course, he could spend his assets to go in a facility. But what makes sense is for him to leverage those dollars to get him some, some funds that he could use, that he could um, leverage to provide for the for the uh, the care benefits for him in the future. Because chances are he'll probably have a stay in the next five years. Um, let's look at annuities that are beyond their surrender period. So if you go back to your existing clients, um, you should know when those surrender periods are and look at that and say, okay, here, you know, Mr. Pross, Mr. Client, Ms. Client, this $100,000 annuity, it's now beyond a surrender period. You haven't touched it. You're 75 years old or 70 years old. It doesn't look like you're going to need these funds. And then ask that question, are you concerned? We, we really haven't done anything for uh, an extended stay in a facility or home care, something like that. We can use these dollars to protect that side of your retirement, that side of your, your plan. So there's a hole there. Those clients that are turning age 70, if you have a CRM, um, here's why I look at this. Once your clients turn 70 years old, you know this is the year they have to start taking RMDs. And I'm kind of combining some of these points together. But this is an opportunity if you go out and look at their existing annuities that you have or whatever accounts that they have, look at their qualified accounts and determine, hey, we need to do something with this money this year. If you don't need this income, and I'll tell you from experience that a lot of these clients out there that have those qualified accounts, they take their RMD, they stick it in the bank. And so this is where we want to look at it. And maybe we could put those into one of these single premium plans. So I'm kind of jumping ahead here, starting to take RMDs. That's the other thing. If you know that they're starting to take them, what we've done is we've take those qualified accounts and we roll it into that SPIA life combo plan. Those clients that are celebrating retirement this year, this is a great opportunity for you to sit down and look at all of their accounts and make sure that they have everything um, properly allocated. And I can tell you that speaking from experience, um, I see that agents will call and they say they've got a client that's got a ton of money in mutual funds that are pretty aggressive. We need to reconsider. Does that really make sense to have it in an aggressive account? Um, also, the clients receiving inheritance, I mentioned that to you before. CD owners, we're all talking about CDs. I'm quite certain of that. Um, but be sure you're also asking what they have in their checking and savings accounts. Uh, for a short time in my sales career, uh, I also worked with a bank. And I was amazed at the amount of money that, that the bank account holders had as far as savings checkings. I had a guy had a million dollars in his checking account. Another guy had $800,000 in his savings account. Lots of money out there. If we're not asking what their balances are, we may be overlooking something. It just doesn't make sense for them to get 1099 on $800,000 that they've got sitting in a savings account. Put it somewhere where it's 
going to work for him a little bit, provide him some additional benefits. Um, talked about RMDs, 10% um, free withdrawals. You might have a client out there that's got a half a million dollar annuity. They're not touching it, but they might. So they're kind of on the fence. Let's take out $50,000. Let's put in a single premium life. Let's reduce some of that taxable gain that the beneficiary is going to have to pay someday. Get them set up with some, some insurance that's going to potentially offset the taxes on that inheritance and or provide them with some accelerated benefits they don't have today. Cash value policies with current premiums. I see a tremendous amount of this. And this is where I was talking before about doing the reviews. If you've written the annuity on a client, and you haven't asked them about life insurance, I would encourage you to ask them to pull out their life insurance contracts and take a look at them. I don't encourage replacing just to replace, but I do encourage looking at the fact that if they've got those old wedding policies out there, I kind of refer to them as they, they purchased 40 or 50 years ago, the net amount of risk on those contracts blows me away. We have $10,000 death benefit with an $8,500 cash value. Guess who's on the hook for that? For that net amount of risk. Really, it's the client because $8,500 of that is theirs. $10,000 is the death benefit they receive, right? So the insurance company is really only paying out $1,500. So we reposition that. We do a 1035 exchange into a single premium life policy and get them fifteen dollars or $20,000 in death benefit. So we're putting them in a better position. Just be sure to ask about it. And there's a lot of those univer or, um, yeah, universal life policies out there that are we're crediting nine plus percent. When I got started in the business, it was 9.75% on my leading carrier. They're not paying that today. We all know that. So those policies are underfunded more than likely, and they're in trouble of lapsing. So we do a lot of rescue. We roll those into a single premium plan, get them a paid up contract. Keep that in mind. And again, overabundance of annuities. If your clients are stacked with annuities, it's time to take a look and see what, you know, what are they drawing from? What aren't they going to touch? So here's some points here that um, if you were to sit down with the, with the client, and this is how I've tried to help some of the agents out there, you know, such as yourself or anyone who's not currently offering this to their clients. But if you could go to your client and say, look, I've got a product I want to introduce to you here. Um, and we're, you know, if you're talking about maybe the annuity they're sitting on now or maybe um, some funds they have sitting in the bank. But if I could come to you with a product that's going to allow you a full return on your money. So if you put it into this particular product, you can get out any time that you want. Um, we're going to provide you up to 12% bonus on your money. So think of that $100,000 that you've got sitting in the bank. We're going to, we're going to put an additional $12,000 on top of that. And we're going to allow you a chance to take a free withdrawal from your money. So it's very liquid. Not only can you surrender it, but you can also take, we should say up to 10% because we can. It has index link returns. Um, I need to change this slide. I apologize. 6.5%. That's wrong. That should be like 5.6%. Um, but we're going to get index link returns. Let's say getting you about 5% on your money. We've got a guaranteed 2% on the, on the money that you put in there. So worst case scenario, you're going to get no less than 2%. This is going to grow tax deferred for you for a lifetime. Okay. And if you go into a facility or you need someone to come and take care of you, you can use those benefits tax free to provide for your care. And the other important thing is, is if we never touch those assets, that will go tax free to your beneficiaries. Would you be interested in a product like that? And I'm I'm telling you right now, your client, and even if you, you don't have to use all these points, maybe you use four or five of them, whatever it is, you'd be surprised how many of your clients are going to say, yeah, what what is that? You haven't mentioned life insurance yet, but life insurance, these single premium life products are really the only plans out there that are going to provide for all these benefits. So much like an annuity, but you've got some benefits that the annuity does not have. Okay, so that concludes my presentation. Uh, let's see what we have for questions in here. Uh, yes, Mark, I can call you this morning. All right, so if you have any questions, go ahead and put those in the question box. Um, you know, again, I think the important thing about this here is, is being aware of it. And I think this is kind of funny. I'm going to tell you real quick. We have an agent that uh, this doesn't happen a lot where we, where we run into a, a, two agents running into each other. But we had a situation once where we had a, an agent call us and the client inherited some money. So the client was going to put it into an annuity. The agent called us and said, here, I want to put this money into an annuity. We ran an annuity quote for him. 
Then we had another agent come in and basically was swiping the sale away from them because that agent had showed them a single premium life policy. So you know where that sale went to? It went to the single premium life, the agent that showed the single premium life, because you know what? Um, they didn't need the income. They were more interested in the accelerated benefits for long-term care and home health care, and they were interested in making sure that if they didn't use those dollars, they would go tax-free to beneficiary. So um, quick question, is there a client presentation available? Yes, there is, Rodney. I can get that to you. Yep, we got a flip chart that we've created here, and um, it just, it's just pretty simple, and it just uh, basically it, it shows some comparisons of annuities um, versus single premium life and uh, keeping money in a CD and all that thing, uh, kind of stuff all wrapped into one. So it basically shows the benefits of putting it into single premium life versus some other that are out there. Um, we also have a neat piece that compares um, the growth in a CD versus an annuity, uh, as well as accelerated benefits. So it's a neat piece. Um, clarify the underwriting procedure for the single premium life. Absolutely. So um, what we do, God love, is whenever you write a single premium life policy, you obviously have to complete an application, but there's also a telephone interview that's involved. And this is so easy because all you do is you complete the application, you dial a toll-free number, and someone will answer the phone. Now, depending on whether you're doing a point of sale product or you're doing one that's not a point of sale. Point of sale means they approve it right then and there. The underwriter on the phone will tell you if they're approved. But what you do is you introduce um, to the person who answers the phone. You'll give them the name. Uh, you'll give them some other relevant information that they'll want to create an electronic file. Then they'll ask you to go ahead and put the client on the phone. Put the client on the phone, they're going to go through the application that they just completed with you. And there's a reason for that. A lot of times what will happen is that client will tell the interviewer something they wouldn't tell you. The other thing is they want to obviously make sure they've got consistency as far as the questions and answers. Some companies are going to do a cognitive type of a questionnaire on the phone to see that they, are, they have all their, their mental faculties about them. Once they've gone through that questionnaire, that application, they're going to get you back on the phone and they'll tell you if it's a point of sale, if they're approved or not. Okay. The other thing is, is they'll just, they'll say, okay, this concludes the call. Thank you very much. Submit the application. And so that's exactly what you would do is you'd go ahead and um, you'd email the application over to us. What we're going to do is we're going to scrub that application. We want to make sure that that application is completed, that all the forms go in with it, so that it's very fast, it's a very efficient. And, you know, we will order APSs, not all the time. It does it does depend on the company. Uh, it will depend on the health of the person. It will also depend on um, – I'm sorry, my screen went blank here. It will depend on um, the amount of the, the application as well, so depending on how much premium you submit. Okay, so 12% premium bonus, what does that mean? Um, what is the 12% premium bonus of 100000 Well, you put in $100,000, you get 12% bonus, so you get a $12,000 premium that goes with that. Um, okay, let me delete that question here. So it's that simple. If they put in 50000 they get 12% of 50000 that goes in with it. Okay, um, so we'd love to see a sample client presentation and product information. Absolutely, we can get that out to you, Melissa. All right. So, excellent. This is a great question. A couple of points I want to address here. Is this a guaranteed UL product? We do have guaranteed IUL, guaranteed whole life, uh, guaranteed UL. The thing about these products is once your client puts premium into it, there is no additional premium required. The death benefit is guaranteed. So you don't have to worry about coming down the road here and collecting some additional premium from the client. Now, the other thing is these are modified endowment contracts. Now, is that a big deal? Not really. Um, the only way it would be a big deal is if your client were to take a loan against the contract or um, surrender it. They're going to be taxed like an annuity. So if your client puts in $100,000 and they take it out in six months, they surrender it, 
they're just going to be taxed on whatever growth is over and above the hundred thousand dollars. Same with a loan. They borrow money out, last in first out. They'll pay taxes on whatever is over and above their cost basis. Otherwise, the accelerated benefits that they're going to collect for long-term care, home health care, those are tax-free. And then when they pass away, the benefits of the beneficiary are going to be tax-free. So really, it's going to be much like writing an annuity, um, but it's not always going to be taxed. Only time is taxed if there's a, a loan out of the contract or if they surrender the contract, then they're going to be taxed on the growth basis. So pretty simple. All right. So what we've done here, I mean, just kind of give you some ideas and some things we can help you with. And I'm just kind of going on and on here. I mean, we can certainly um, answer any questions that might pop up, but I'm just kind of leaving the question box open for you. But what we've done is, you know, one of the things that I found out is that if you go in and you see your doctor, like your, a cardiologist, for example, um, they're going to look at your, your current health situation. And you know when you go to the doctor, they ask you a million and seven questions. Because they, what they want to do is they want to set up a baseline for you. They want to find out what's what your health is like today, especially if you've just had a heart attack. Some of you on here probably can relate to this. Now you're seeing a cardiologist where you hadn't seen one before. But what they're going to do is they're going to look at all your baselines, right? So when you go back, assuming you're going back, if you haven't gone back, go to your client with a fact finder and find out what are their philosophies on things? What are their concerns? What are their current assets and I've created some forms to do that. I've created a pre-approach letter. I have created a form that you mail to the client which is going to ask them some questions that they're concerned about. And each one of those questions is going to drive you down to a sales opportunity. And so I'll make that available to you if you contract with us. But the nice thing is, is it, it gives you an opportunity to go back out there and see five years later or ten years later what is their situation like? We all know that life changes. And if we're not staying in front of our, our, our clients, we're missing an opportunity. And that's why I've developed some of these forms because I want to be able to go back there and help you. Um, I, I can give you a perfect example about how life changes. Um, um, here's an example. This is not a sob story, but this is important, to, I think, to, to go back to the clients. That's why I'm so big on reviews. Um, so I had three kids. My wife passed away. Okay, I thought, well, this is going to be the end of the line for me. But it, but keep in mind, 49% of the agents in this business don't go back. So if I would have been the average run-of-the-mill um, client, I probably hadn't heard back from my agent other than the fact that they knew that I was filing a death claim. Okay, so I've remarried. I've got a couple new kids. There's an opportunity for an additional life insurance sale. Inherited some money. Obviously, when my parents passed away, another sales opportunity. And there's a lot of seniors out there that you know, they've got siblings that are passing away that may not be married anymore, um, and they're inheriting some funds. So if you're not going back and staying in front of those clients, you're missing some sales opportunities. And so that's really what we want to do is make sure that you're taking advantage of the opportunities that are out there waiting for you. Um, there's an agent that we do business with. He's told me that where he wasn't doing reviews with his clients and he had a client moved $400,000 away from him because he never stayed in front of him. And he just found out on accident. He called one day because the surrender period was up on an annuity. Come to find out that they just moved $400,000 into an annuity with another advisor. So important to stay in touch. What is the minimum time period for the return of premium to be due free of taxes? Well, it depends on the growth of the contract. So what what I've seen is on these return of premium policies, um, in six months, they've already got growth in the contract or a year they've got growth in that contract. So they would still be paying taxes. They would, I mean, realistically, if they're going to exercise a return of premium, they got to do it right away. Uh, you don't want them to because there is a charge back for, for two years on those return of premium contracts. All right, um, so hopefully that answers your question. 12% premium bonus, is it guaranteed and is it on every year? Okay. John, the 12% premium bonus is a part of the contract. They, It's right there. We're going to give you 12% premium bonus. Um, it's on the single premium, so you get a one-time single premium 12% premium bonus. It's not a bonus every year. It is a single premium life policy. You put in 100000 you get a 12% premium bonus. You get $12,000 goes into the contract. You're done. It's not a continuous pay product. We're talking single premium life here today. Um, but we do have other products. Obviously, you can do multi-pay. They just don't have a bonus on them. 
Okay. All right. You know what? The question box is empty. So I would encourage you, if you have any questions, um, give us a call here. And just real quick, this is a new year. It's a new opportunity. It's a great chance for you to incorporate something new into your business. And I'd really encourage you to consider this as another thing. There's a lot of, as funny as it is, we talk to agents every day of the, every day of the week, obviously. And there's a lot of them out there that don't even know these plans exist or they don't know the simplicity of it. They don't know um, the benefits that are available. And so this is where you come in. Your clients don't know about it. I guarantee you right now your clients don't know about it because there's no real reason for them to know about it unless they've got a friend who just recently moved some funds into a single premium life contract. But I will tell you one thing. Our top producing agent is selling this by leading in with the quite well, I shouldn't say necessarily lead, leading in, but asking the question about long-term care. Are they concerned about the cost of long-term care and have they done anything to protect themselves and their assets and their, their spouse from a stay? Because if you stop and think about it, if they've done nothing at all and they go into facility and if you look at the numbers, they're staggering. I mean, it can be a hundred thousand dollars a year. So if they're taking a hundred thousand dollars a year with an average stay of about two and a half years, you know, you're talking $250,000 that's coming off of their accounts for retirement. And if they do that, how does that affect their surviving spouse? So, and then take that to the next level. What if that spouse goes in a facility and now they've liquidated everything and they have nothing left and they go on spend down? I can tell you from experience, I see what happens with uh, a, um, a loved one that goes uh, into a Medicaid bed. They're going to put them wherever they can find a bed. And a lot of times it's not going to be where they want to be. So that's why we want to look at um, doing the best job that we can and repositioning um, and reviewing. So what are the top two carriers? You know, that's a good question, Ed. There's a lot of good carriers out there. Um, you know, we have some that are our top two. But I I tell you what, I'll call you and um, or TJ will call you. And we'll discuss our top two and we'll go through why that is. But, you know, one of them is going to be um, really good for cash accumulation, really good for death benefit. And that, in, a, in the end, provides for a really good accelerated benefit because it's based on the death benefit. On the flip side, I've got a carrier that's really good in underwriting. They are the most aggressive underwriter that we have. Most of these products are table four standard issue, but the... This other one that's aggressive in underwriting, I say, is they'll go all the way up to a table eight. They'll take a client that's had cancer two years ago or ha had a heart attack two years ago and all these other major health issues. So um, keep that in mind. And so, Dennis, question, are there long-term care benefits on policies issued in California? Yes, there is. And that's another reason why we picked up this other carrier because some of the lion's share of these companies, they can't get it approved in, in California or Florida. And so we do have companies that will accelerate that death benefit for long-term care there in California and Florida. So if you're in those states, we've got you covered. So, okay. Our number here is 800-255-5055. Um, you know, I'd encourage you to give us a call here. If you're curious, if you're thinking you might want to know about more about this, if you're thinking you've got a prospect or a client, and so many times we run a quote, a quote and it doesn't get sold. And I will tell you the main reason is because of the comfort level, not feeling like you know the product well enough. Um, so that's what we're here for. We want to get you comfortable. When we run the illustrations, we're going to ask you different questions to find out so we know which carrier is going to be best suited for that situation. But once we do that, communication is important. Uh, let's talk about it. Let's understand the product. Let's go into it with that prospect or client and make sure that you've got a pretty good firm understanding of it Give us an opportunity if we need to, um, to be on the phone with you. If you want us to, you know, there's no reason um, for us not to help you in that respect. And that's one of the things we do a lot of. Uh, another question came up, is diabetes reason for declining application for coverage? No, Mike, it's not. We issue a lot of diabetics. In fact, the interesting thing is, is I am seeing more diabetics getting issued just a standard, even in fully underwritten. Some of these companies are realizing, hey, if you've got a client who's a diabetic that has good control, their A1C is under control, 
they can actually live a pretty normal, healthy life. And so, um, yeah, definitely, we're, we're getting diabetics issued every day. What is the telephone number here? The number is on the screen, John. It's 800-255-5055. You can ask for anybody in the life marketing department. We're all very versed in it. There is no extension. Just ask for life marketing, um, and anyone here can help you. So 800-255-5055. The life marketing department is uh, just, if someone answers the phone, it could be somebody in a new department, just say, I want to talk to life marketing, and they'll get you over with uh, whoever is available. Okay, um, I want to thank you for taking time to join us here this morning. What we're going to do is uh, I'll email this out to you so you have the recording. You can review it uh, as many times as you want, uh, or you can go to our website. And we'll post some out there as well, www.imzinc.com. And uh, again, I want to thank you for taking time to join us here this morning. I want to wish you all a happy new year. Uh, we hope that we can be a part of your success this year and compliment what you're doing on the life side of your business. And certainly look forward to visiting with you soon. Have yourself a great rest of the day. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.